Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to create 5 cards using white washi tape. For all my cards I will be using washi tape by Altenew, they have just released a new collection of uh, washi tapes. I am going uh, through them super quickly so you can take a look and you can see that they come with uh, gorgeous designs such as flowers and actually these are going to cover up completely a standard card front. There are 18 different designs in the collection, so you get flowers, stripes, solid colors, black and white, and there are actually some of those rolls that they have foiling on them, like this one, that are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sure that in between all of these designs you will find something that will match your taste. And the last two will give you gorgeous night sky backgrounds, and I will actually use this one in this video. Now this is actually part of a blog hop, so make sure to visit my blog, you will find there all the details on the blog hop, as well as a giveaway. So for the first card I'm going to use this gorgeous washi tape. This is called Glitter Flourish washi tape and it has some foiling in uh, different parts of the design. I have covered up completely a panel that is slightly smaller than my standard card and I'm just going to use my scissors to cut off the excess. And it's very forgiving in terms of sticking it down, so if you find that you have some bubbles here and there or if it's not completely straight, you can always peel it off and stick it back again. These gorgeous designs are perfect for quick and easy cards, so all I'm going to do is to stick it on my card base, which I have created from gold cardstock. And I'm going to stick on top the word love that I have cut out from this die set, which is called Script Words Die. And I have actually stacked uh, one on top of the other, many of them, three or four, so the sentiment really stands out. So here is the first idea, just use the washi tape with these gorgeous designs and cover up completely the card front, and you have a card in no time. For my next card I will be using this roll, which is called Gilded Ombre Washi Tape. This is absolutely gorgeous with this beautiful design and I think this is going to sell out super quickly, so if you want it, make sure you go fast. Now I'm going to cover up an area of this uh, white cardstock and I'm going to combine it with a very thin washi tape from the new collection, which is called Golden Edge. So this is going to go at the bottom and then I'm going to use my paper trimmer to chop off the white parts. Now I'm going to add the sentiment at the very bottom of my card front. I'm going to stamp it with my Versa marking and then emboss it with uh, antique gold embossing powder. The sentiment that I'm using comes from an new stamp set that's called Smiles and Hugs and I'm actually using the sentiment that says Smile, Happy Looks Good on You. To finish off my card I'm sticking the panel on top of my card base and also notice that I have added uh, one more thin strip of uh, gold washi tape at the top of my panel. I love that with these gorgeous designs on uh, these washi tapes you can put together cards in no time. Now let's move on to another gorgeous washi tape which I think it's going to be a hit as well. This is called Watercolor Nebula Washi Tape and I'm going to open it up for you so you can see the whole design. I think this is going to provide you the perfect night sky. Now my background is ready in no time and if you have any dye that cuts out a skyline then I think it would make a gorgeous card. I used one that I had in my stash by Sizzix and Tim Holtz to cut out this skyline in black and because I want to have some uh, golden windows I'm going to use the die at the very bottom of my background panel and cut it out. Now I have all the pieces ready to go and it's time to put my card together. I'm going to assemble my card on this uh, white panel which is a uh, four and a quarter by five and a half, so at the very bottom I'm going to uh, cover it up with this uh, gold cardstock and this is going to actually provide the background for the little windows so when I stick everything on top I will end up having some uh, golden windows shining through. Now the fun part is that those washi tape rolls are really long which means that you will end up having lots and lots of product to use. Now for the sentiment I decided to go with the one that says sending love and hugs and it comes from the Hello Gorgeous stamp set. Now I have uh, embossed it with um, anti-gold embossing powder on a thin strip of black cardstock. I'm gonna put it in place and my card is ready. For 
For my next card, I'm going to combine two different designs. This is the Painted Fantasy Washi Tape. And again, I'm covering up a piece of white cardstock. And this is the Pixel Washi Tape. This one is uh, very subtle, but it has some uh, square designs. It is tone on tone. I don't know if you can tell from the camera. And again, I'm going to cover up a white cardstock. Now I'm going to do some embossing directly on top of the washi tape and uh, for the sentiment I went with uh, two words that I combined from the Hello Gorgeous stamp set. So I stamped with uh, embossing ink, I'm applying my white embossing powder and then I'm going to use my heat gun and heat set everything. And now it's time to put everything together. I'm using foam tape at the back of the pink panel and I'm going to stick it on top of the other one. And my card is ready. Another quick and easy idea, but so gorgeous at the end. Now let's move on to the last card for today. Here is another roll with a gorgeous design. These are the painted orchids washi tape. And I'm going to open it up for you so you can see the whole design. Now I'm going to show you another idea of how you can use these washi tapes. You can just pick up areas that you like and just uh, use your scissors to fuzzy cut them. So I like this uh, flower arrangement there and I'm going to stick it on a white piece of uh, card. And I'm going to look uh, through the rest of this piece and try and decide what else I want. I decided to go with the pink one and some greenery, but uh, you can see that there is also a wreath on this design which you can do the same thing as I'm going to do for this card today. So I'm going to use my scissors and do some fuzzy cutting. I will separate this flower arrangement that I like and as I'm cutting out I'm leaving a white border all around which is going to make cutting easier. So now I have cut out all my parts and uh, I am going to stamp my sentiment. For that I will go with a Hello Beautiful which comes from the Hello Gorgeous stamp set that I used in the previous cards. I'm going to stamp my sentiment with black ink. And I have nested the word Hello in between those uh, letters. I always like to combine bigger and smaller sentiments. And now I'm going to add some foam squares at the back of my flower arrangement and stick it on top of my card. And I'm also going to stick on top the extra flower that I have cut out as well as that greenery. This is going to make my flower arrangement look more full. And you can see that I ended up having a dimensional card although I used washi tape. I created a card base out of yellow cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to glue the panel on top and my card is ready. And now let's take a quick look on all the 5 cards that I made for today using the new washi tape rolls by Altenew. I hope this video gave you lots of ideas on how you can use these uh, washi tape rolls. I hope you had fun and you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.